we go. And then I'm going to share my screen as we join together in worship. I'll begin by saying I'm Pastor Ashley Osborne, pastor at Valley of Peace Lutheran Church, gathered with folks from Valley of Peace this evening for our evening prayer service. Let us begin with our opening prayer. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light, the light no, no shadows, shadows can overcome. overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the shadows. And illumine your church. church. The Lord be with you. And also, and also, with, also you. with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give, give our thanks and praise. and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by night, and a pillar of fire, in a pillar of cloud by night, by day, excuse me, and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our shadows by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory through your son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and in prayer. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 104, and it's all around creation. I will admit it is 35 verses long, so it's a longer psalm. I looked at where to cut it, but I really think it's all so beautiful. So sit back, enjoy, and think about what images, images of creation catch your attention in this psalm. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You set the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds of your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it will never be shaken. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they flee. At the sound of your thunder, they take to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys, to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they may, might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst. By the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use, to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has its home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the conies. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night, when all the animals of the forest come creeping out. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manif manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. These look, oops, these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. 
May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May the meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord, the people of God. Say thanks be to God. Thanks, thanks be, be to, God. to God. Well, lots of images of creation there. Anything jump out to people? Any words or phrases catch your attention? The ones that jumped out for me that made me feel happy were springs gushing forth, birds singing above the branches, and I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially for you, music is so powerful. So I yes. love that too. Yeah, others? Those first two also, what Nancy just said, um, also spoke to me. And then verse 30, I loved about... Um, I'm trying to look it up on my phone here. When you send, thank you. Um, when you send forth your spirit, they are created. But I love that you renew the face of the ground. I just like that, that renew. I need to remember that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. I had two things that jumped out. I will say one verse that jumped out was something about um, you provided wine to glad gladden the spirit. <laughs> Yay. Over there on that table is my half sipped glass of wine left from supper. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for me. But um more seriously, the oh go back, it's maybe in the yep. second paragraph, the foundation of the earth. Oh yeah, you set the earth on its foundation. You set the earth on its foundation so that it shall never never be shaken. And you know, that gives me hope right now because our earth is, you know, being jumbled off of its foundation a little bit, but God won't let it be. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that verse caught my attention too. Anything else from others? I, I see why you you couldn't cut it anywhere because I, mean, I, I think that's actually the 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 power in this from my perspective is the 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 breadth and the depth of what's chosen to be described yeah uh, all the way from the human spirit to the the foundation of, of the earth to to waters flowing to birds and trees it, it 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 goes to every single corner to describe the 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 intertwined purpose of it all if you will yeah Pretty neat. That's well said yeah and I appreciate that I mean it talks about um, I was thinking a lot of Ecclesiastes 3 when reading this. Everything has its season. You know, at nighttime, the animals come creeping out and people work in the evening. I, it just, it reminded me of how there are seasons for everything, but those seasons continue to remain constant in our lives as well. So I think it's beautiful to think about the seasons of creation that unfold before us. Yeah. What parts of creation... I'm not going to have us all write our own 35 verse psalm right now, but what parts of creation are you praising God for right now? Uh, Nathan and I went for a walk. We have a pond nature preserve across the street and the turtles were all over <laughs> and we both really love turtles. So we took a lot of pictures of turtles. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I spoke with a member the other day. She told me she's, praising God for the weeds because it's giving her something to do. <laughs> Weeding. She said, there will always be lots of weeds. I, I like that. <laughs> for me, I, I love trees. And um, on my walk today, I saw, we have a crab apple out in front that's pink and it's starting to, to open up. And then I saw another one on my walk that was white, that was fully blossomed. And it was just, it's just like somebody, God just painted this, you know, beautiful picture for me. And I really appreciated that today. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I like the birds because it reminds me of, of I don't, we don't have the choir anymore to listen to. But on Easter Sunday, I actually turned off the TV 
and I could hear the birds singing and I recorded them on my phone. Aww. And so it was like I had my, my own little choir and I love <laughs> to see the birds too, but, but they, you know, you, you can hear them singing before it even gets light in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, they had a little clip on PBS News about hog farmers, but as far as the intro to that, they showed a farmer plowing his fields. Mm. And I just think of the earth and how crops come up in the spring and grow all summer. And you go to southern Minnesota or western Minnesota or central and see these acres and acres of corn and soybeans. It's, it's really amazing the bountiful nature of our earth. Yeah, 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 that's well said. We're talking about dirt. Clara, I don't know, this year's the first year she's really started to dig in the mud. She's three, and so we <laughs> were worm hunting the other day, which is not anything I ever thought we would do. <laughs> but so I was giving thanks for worms. It was hours of entertainment and easy to find after the rain. <laughs> that's the part of creation I'm grateful for now. <laughs> I remember when Peter, who is now 20, uh, used to really love the worms, and I have never been a worm person. When I go fishing with my family, somebody else has always put that worm on the hook for me, yep. and he loved worms so much that he would put them, I didn't know this at the time, but he would put them in his pockets for later, <laughs> and I remember doing laundry and finding dried worm pieces in his pockets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's always something I'll always remember. But I did learn to appreciate worms and pick them up, and now they don't bug me anymore. And I still don't like to put them on a hook to fish with, but um, I have a better appreciation for worms. Live live worms, not yes. the dried up ones. <laughs> yeah, not dried up. Oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. Oh. Well, lots to, uh, give thanks for and as we were moving through the psalms and so i've shared this before but just as a reminder there may be times where we don't feel in the same space to praise god for creation and that's okay too so even though we're talking about psalms of praise around creation tonight last week we talked about a deep psalm of lament talking about when we yell at god so what i appreciate about the psalms is they capture every part of our human emotion and so I think it's important to have them guide our prayer life and think about parts of creation that we're grateful for. But I also want to acknowledge there will also be uh, cries of lament as well, and the Psalms guide us in that too. We're going to continue our service with the prayers of the church, and we'll leave a moment of pause for prayers if you want to write them in the chat, speak them aloud, or um, say them silently, knowing that God knows the prayers in our hearts. So with the whole people of God in Christ Jesus, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. In peace we pray to you, O Lord. We thank you for the blessings of this day, and we bring before you the world that you so love. Especially we pray for the peace from above and for our all salvation. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God and for the unity of all. For the health of the creation and for abundant harvest that all may share. We pray to you, O Lord, for others in our life and for all in public service. May the love you have revealed in Jesus Christ comfort, renew, and empower them. Especially we pray for public servants, the government, and those who protect us. For those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. For friends and family near and far. We pray to you, O Lord, for all who are in any need. As you care for all of your children, help us to be instruments of your peace, your justice, and your healing. Especially we pray for deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need.
for those who travel. For those who are sick and suffering. For those who are in prison or held captive. And for all who wait from the Lord, great and abundant mercy. <coughs> Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves and our whole life to you, O Lord. O God, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from fear, may live in peace and quietness this night and every night. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you God's everlasting and almighty peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. And also, and also with, with you. With you. Yes. And I will stop recording here. <laughs>